Just one thing, Jarogan. My name is Drikas Duplessis. Uh, where I'm from, that's not a very hard name, but I see people are struggling. Uh, Mr. Bossman, Dana struggles to say Drikas Duplessis. A lot of people struggle. Drikas Duplessis, remember the name. It will be a household name in the top 10 very, very soon. The beginning of the new year, 2024, in the fighting industry promises to be interesting and, pardon the tautology, very promising. The first title fight taking place on January the 20th at UFC 297 is set to determine the new middleweight champion. Very soon, the second ranked contender, Drikus Duplessis, will attempt to etch his name in history and bring the gold of the Ultimate Fighting Championship back to his native South African lands. In light of this, we've prepared a compilation of Drikus' best performances in his professional career for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment of four words. Let's go! Number 5. Marcus Perez Today we'd like to start this compilation with the official debut of the South African prospect within the UFC walls. By October 2020, Drikus Duplessis was confidently climbing the career ladder, ascending in the world rankings among professional performers. At that time, his record boasted 14 early victories with only two, and as time has shown, those remaining his only losses. Additionally, adding to this impressive resume was his rich championship history in local organizations. All of this proved more than sufficient for the matchmakers of the premier promotion to allocate Drikus a spot on the card for Fight Night 179. It's massive. It, uh, everything came up, coming, came up and about so quickly uh, they literally phoned me and said listen you're flying out next week so uh, i mean i took the fight immediately i was i was so excited for it it was uh, i mean in the beginning i was as soon as the day i said listen i'll take the fight i didn't even know who the opponent was i didn't even know what was happening they said short notice i said well am i going to need to pack my bags like how many hours do i have i'm still at the gym can i finish out the workout they said no you have two weeks don't just like, uh, not that short. Yeah, yeah it's not that short so i mean obviously the weight was a was the only concern uh, up until yesterday and we are on track we're exactly where i needed to be and now it's not a problem anymore at all and this week's been been amazing i mean being on fight island it's a historic place and uh, as soon as they announced that i was so excited to watch the fights on fight island and here i am competing on it so it's it's been amazing it's 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 great let's just say that the brazilian fighter who was already going through a tough time in his career faced a less than enviable fate against a hungry and determined prospect Drikus Duplessis did his job in the best possible way, knocking out Marcus Perez early on, thereby sending a clear message to everyone, this guy is someone to be reckoned with. It could have gone any better, I guess, a first round knockout. Uh, the whole week leading up, I stayed calm and, you know, my whole career you try to, to think about this moment and you expect it. I try to expect it, I try to, to not get overwhelmed by anything that happens, but and especially this being a sh such a short notice experience, when I got the floor, get, get passports ready, everything ready, uh, I didn't really get time to sink in. And I mean, I just got a first round KO in front of Dana White. And if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Trevin Giles. The next appearance of the still knockout artist in the Octagon occurred during the July tournament of UFC 264 in the summer of 2021. On the path of the ascending prospect with 15 victories on his record, he made an American fighter with a rather similar resume, 14-2, precisely mirroring Drykus' record at the time of his debut, which we've already discussed. Uh, 17 fights, uh, 2 losses. Uh, all 15 moments coming by a finish and I don't see that changing this weekend and I don't see that changing anytime soon. If it should, if it will, it's not a problem for me. But, um, you know, that, that, that debut was pretty perfect and, you know, don't be surprised if you see something more spectacular Saturday and uh, or you see the exact same result. I'm, I'm going out there and doing what I do and if that spectacular finish comes, uh, it will. Trevon Giles truly managed to test the resilience of his confident prospect, holding his ground in the fight for a minute and 40 seconds into the second round. During this time, the fighters exchanged heavy blows multiple times, all of which Drikus Duplessis weathered that evening. 
he was able to stop the American with a knockout and once again make a resounding statement to the world about his capabilities. Absolutely, I mean, the last time I was sitting in Abu Dhabi and I got that first round knockout against Marcus Perez, who's never been finished. I've all finished all my fights, so I got a first round knockout against him on a short notice debut and I was certain when I got that knockout, it's his performance bonus time and obviously Jacqueline Buckley with that in the knockout of the year and then i'm like well great he got he gets he gets a bonus i get a bonus there's enough bonus for everybody and then corey sandhagen comes with this spinning yuki and i was like oh shit and uh, i just missed out on that well i came out here and i said well listen it's tough competition but i want to get that that bonus and when they know up to the 75 i was like well great uh, i'm gonna take you home even more so number three Darren Till. Next up, we have the clash of the South African threat against the former title contender, the Liverpool Gorilla. Dreyfus Duplessis' bout with Darren Till was featured on the card of the winter event UFC 282 on December the 10th, 2022. I just think that I'll be quicker on the feet and lighter than him. I think I can, you know, really push him in there, you know, landing jabs on the nose, making him. I don't know. I don't want to say too much. Yeah. You can see he was a big welterweight, but then he made the transition to middleweight, as I did. I was a welterweight too, but I took a year off to make the transition in a, doing it in the correct way, put on put on good weight and getting there still ripped, still in shape. Whereas I felt with Darren Till, once he actually moved to middleweight, the change for him was this is going to be easier now. Now that he doesn't have to cut the weight anymore, now that he can eat a little bit better, he doesn't have to worry about the weight so much, and that's the wrong approach. At that time, the English prospects' fortunes weren't particularly favourable. However, ahead of the encounter with Drykus, Till significantly dedicated himself to the training process, aiming to return to the path of victory and his former positions. Unfortunately for him, these plans clashed with Duplessis' goals as he stepped into the cage to once again make a statement in the realm of combat sports. He managed to stop his opponent prematurely, securing a victory over him via submission in the third round, and of course, earning yet another accolade for performance of the night. I mean, I'll go. I'll have to go and, and, and run it back. You know, one of those fights where I just got that flow state. There was no time to think about what's really happening, and it was all in the moment. And I mean, I just beat Baron down until I just beat a, a number nine uh, middleweight in the world to to earn that top ten spot. For anybody that's that's doing this as a career, that means the absolute world, and I couldn't be happier. There's nothing that could have made me happier right now. Number two, Derek Brunson. Having ousted the gorilla from the company, Drakus Duplessis went after the head of another near top contender who had been part of the UFC for over 10 years. The South Africans' bout with the American veteran took place at the beginning of March 2023 within the framework of the 285th numbered event. Out of the way, and I'm getting that that fight. You know, I think what this is fight number three in the last seven or eight months, and that's beautiful, and that gets me to fight in the top five. After this fight, you know, there's there's nothing else than fighting for that number one contender spot, and I I'm so happy to be here. It feels like Vegas is my second home now. And the fact that they bring me here every time for the biggest events, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it, puts, uh, you know it, it puts a stamp on my work and I'm, I'm really happy about that. If we were to solely rely on the final outcome and just refer to open sources without observing this particular fight, we would likely regret missing out as both fighters delivered one of the best battles of the current tournament. Drakus Duplessis managed to showcase yet another performance worthy of fanfare and enthusiastic exclamations, culminating in a technical knockout after two rounds due to a corner stoppage. A ticket to the top five in the division is secured after another victory. That it worked? Literally every step of the way, I did think uh, I would probably, I, I, I call the second round TKO or submission. I want to be the first guy to submit, submit him. And I almost had him in a choke. He shot for that desperate takedown. Had him in a choke, but I didn't quite feel like he was out of there yet. And I let him go in that second. And I started catching him. And I thought, like, he's going to drop any second. And, uh, you know, actually in that first round, I think we're, we were in the last 20 seconds. I thought we were going to stop this fight because I was catching him. 
but it went literally in my mind exactly how I thought. A crazy back and forth first round and I'll start. You know, in the second round, he's going to realize I'm not going away and that's what happened. Number 1. Robert Whittaker And as an epic conclusion to today's edition, the last as of now performance of the South African finisher within the walls of the strongest league fits perfectly. In July 2023, at the 209th numbered event, Dreykus Duplessis decisively vied for the number one spot in the title race by challenging the former weight champion, the Reaper, Robert Whittaker. Now, I have a goal to be the champion of the world, and Robert Whittaker is the next step in that ladder. It's a very, very, very tall order, but I believe I did everything I possibly could, and I know I'm ready to overcome this obstacle to get to the next stage and be uh, the number one contender. So, having nothing to lose, I have absolutely everything to lose. And you'll see how I fight like somebody with everything to lose on Saturday night. To everyone's surprise, Duplessis affirmed his capability so convincingly that after the fight ended in the middle of the second round with a technical knockout in his favor, the champion himself stepped into the octagon, still seeking knockouts. Can you see how out of breath I am? I guess I did some few, a few running the regimes this whole camp. I'm lying. I told you I have cardio for days. And secondly, you go all have about two minus two hours to go de delete a whole lot of comments because I'm coming for that social media. I'm African, but I ain't no brother of your son. Let's go. At that time, within the organization, there were indeed plans for the South African enthusiast of early victories to share the cage with Israel Adesanya with the title at stake. What, did, what happened in his last performance against Robert Whittaker? It was a very close fight. What happened in my last performance against Whittaker? No, I'm not afraid of the champion. I can't wait to fight the champion. And uh, if uh, everything comes back positive, if everything is, is good, if physically I'm, possi I'm, I'm ca capable, like I said, I'm fighting the champion. However, as history unfolded, things turned even more intriguing as the belt eventually transitioned to Sean Strickland. And essentially, his first defense will soon be against Dreykus Duplessis, which will undoubtedly leave us with a plethora of impressions in the near future. Why are you so angry? Well, you think your dad beat the shit of you? you, you <laughs> your dad doesn't have shit on me. I'm going to show you what it's like to Dragus. beat you. I mean, all, every childhood memory you have is going to come back when I'm in there with you. Every single one, the one where you lie in bed at night where your dad thing, comes man. in and he beats the shit I out of you. I will take your f***ing soul, you understand, you f***ing pussy. <laughs> what do you think about the upcoming encounter in the middleweight division? Will the American psycho retain the UFC gold or will Dreykus Duplessis make history and bring the championship belt to Africa? Share your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course, like this video if you enjoyed it. See you soon.